The United States is preparing sanctions against a major Venezuelan government food program that distributes important food staples to 6 million low-income families each month. The impact would be devastating. The program is called CLAP, Local Committees for Supply and Production, and it's a lifeline for millions of Venezuelans amid the country's financial crisis. Here's how. When the clap boxes arrive to this poor neighborhood in the sprawling Caracas barrio of Petare, dozens of community members turn out. Inside each box is flour, cooking oil, dehydrated milk, and several bags of pasta, rice, and beans. These products are found in stores across the country, but with hyperinflation, they're far too expensive for most Venezuelans. The CLAP is a support. It's a strategy to respond to the fact that food has been one of the main things impacted by the U.S. blockade. Since this is a country that often depends on imported food, this CLAP box here costs each family only 150 bolivares, less than one penny on the dollar. The local distribution of the food here is well organized, but it's not carried out by government officials. It's done by the community. Jose Daniel Perez has lived in this neighborhood his whole life. He's a spokesperson for the Brises de Turumo Comuna, which is made up of 21 neighborhood or communal councils, 8,598 families in total. They will all get a box. Here in the Por Barrios, they say each home, without exception, receives a box or bag, regardless of political affiliation. We attend to each family without political bias. Every family gets their monthly box. Community members help to offload the boxes from the larger trucks onto smaller vehicles, organized by each communal council. These carry the food directly to residents on each street in each neighborhood. The truck arrives, everyone pitches in. On my street, there are 28 families. They bring us the boxes, and we are in charge of getting them to each family. There are no ID cards here. Everyone knows each other. Residents come and pick up their boxes. Carleen Hinojosa is the first. She lives with her family just across the street. It's a big help, because with the situation in the country, one kilo of rice is 7,000 bolivars. Oil is 7,000 bolivars. It's very difficult. It's still unknown how the Trump government plans to sanction the CLAP program and what measures it will take. But one thing is clear. The U.S. goal is to deepen the crisis by cutting off this supply of food to millions of low-income Venezuelans. In other words, push them to starvation so they will rise up. This is not only evil, but it is the very definition of hypocrisy. The Trump administration claims it wants to help the Venezuelan people. What it does instead is knock them down. Momentous.